Our second guest of the night is known for his stand-up comedy. He's slightly shifting his attention now in helping others reach their potential and was recently named ambassador for the Prince's Trust. Lim's Ali joins us now. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? How's life Very off well. the stage these days? Um, pretty hectic, but cool. I yeah. can imagine. Now, that's quite a big deal to yeah. be working with the Prince's Trust and to be an ambassador now. Yeah, definitely. How's that going? Um, it's going good because, I mean, I'm giving back a lot to, like, my community and fellow people, like, my age that are disadvantaged and they haven't got as much opportunity as I, as I got. So, yeah, it's pretty good. It's all about the youth. And do you think that your success as a young man yourself has mm. sort of influenced you and the way you work with these young people now? Um, yeah, because, I mean, like, a few years back, ten years ago, I was in, like, the same position as they were, like, yeah. literally trying to find my way into life and then... Now it's like to give back is kind of a big thing and I'm pretty happy about it. Just seeing smiles on people's faces nowadays, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's not good. the first time you've worked with the Trust. Mm. You mentioned that uh, earlier you have working with them a few years back as well. Yeah. So does that help when you go back to an organisation like that because you know how they work internally? Yeah, more or less. It, it helps a lot because at least now... Um, when I did go, when I first started with them, it was pretty different because it was like me giving back to my community and now it's like more on a wider scale. So it's like the whole of the UK and it's like just trying to get young people off the roads and stuff. So yeah, it's really good. That's so cool. Yeah. Now we mentioned that um, Iron the First here has met Prince Charles. Have you had the honour to meet Prince Charles yet? Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> You're still waiting? No, yeah, no, yeah. I'm still in like the queue in it. So. Well, maybe we can give some tips to you on what to do when you do meet him. <laughs> maybe you can give Prince Charles' number to him. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like you got him on speed dial. He's doing it very yeah. easy. Yeah, no, that must have been cool. Yeah. Now, That's alongside true. all the work that you're doing with the Prince's Trust, you're also mm -hmm. still producing some short films, is that right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I um, produced my first short film this summer and it was pretty Heads amazing. Heads or Tails, is that what it's called? Yeah, Heads or Tails. Oh, you know. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> but yeah, no, it was pretty cool. Like, um, it was nice to be behind the cameras rather than be in front of the cameras this yeah. time, like, you know, to give orders. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all that was quite, it felt good, but. Um, even just the after effect of it, like, because even with the film, it's like more or less like trying to set people down the right path in life. So, right. yeah, it's pretty amazing. Well, how do you balance that? Because you're, you're quite busy now with this new ambassador role mm -hmm. and you're making short films. How do you mm -hmm. find the time to kind of juggle both at the same time? Um, just on my time off, man. Days when I literally haven't got much to do, I think, you know yeah. what, because I've got a lot of things written and it's just the opportunities to actually get to go out there and film them is... It's pretty hard, like you said, it's slightly hectic, but yeah. Um, yeah, when I do, whenever I do get the time, just straight back out there, man, rather than sit back and wait because I'm yeah. getting older, isn't it? So, do you yeah. miss great comedy? Hmm? Pardon? Do you Sorry. miss comedy? Um, no, you must, I mean, you must come across situations and think there's a joke in that and I need to make oh, a joke. Oh, yeah, definitely. Many, many situations I'm like, <laughs> what? I use them even nowadays when I'm working with the young people. It's like you get so many jokes because it's like, I remember when I started, a lot of people would be like, oh, Lynn, don't act like that, don't act like this. And then I'm thinking, because I'm still young, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm thinking, oh, but listen, bruv, like, all of these things, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then I'm like, listen, people used to tell me, like, Lynn, speak different when you're out here, like, do you know what I mean? It's different people. And nowadays, it's like, even just to give back that feedback to a lot of young people is it's really important, man, because you just see the differences it makes in people's lives. Yeah. yeah. Well, Lynn, we can really see in the way you're talking about it that you're excited, you're showing great enthusiasm. <laughs> Yeah. And it's great to see you doing so well. Um, mm. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, thank now, you. Um, just before we start your interview, you were looking very keenly at that drum that we have here on Was the that? table. <laughs> <laughs> you were. Yeah. Now, do you want to start practicing with that? Um, you, you can. You can take it. All right. Cool. Yeah. Ayanda first. You wouldn't yes. mind if uh, Lim practices it on, on your drum. Become my appearance as from now. Your apprentice. Yes. I like the sound <laughs> of that. I like the sound. Sugar, eh? <laughs> Don't start just yet because we have to introduce okay. our next feature first. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> Now, if you like golf and you like football, yeah. maybe you'll like foot golf. We're not making it up. It's a real sport and there's even a European tournament for it. Well, if you don't believe us, uh, here's Paul Wick with all the details. Meet Bjorn Bolk, the Dutchman who is fast becoming the Lionel Messi in his sport. He's the winner of this year's Europa Cup in a game where the tee-off is a free kick and putting looks like the first time you've ever kicked a ball. This is foot golf, a cross between football and golf, and one that is proving to be a hit in Spain. Though many people have probably still not heard of the game, it's becoming better organised, 
and Bjorn Bulk, who recently won the unofficial Foot Golf World Championships and a stream of other major foot golf events, hopes to turn professional with it. I, I hope it's the same as uh, the dart sport. The dart sport was uh, 15 years ago. It was uh, for, uh, yeah, for fun. And now they're traveling uh, all over the world, only for uh, yeah, playing for money. Foot golf burst onto the golf course about five years ago and has since boomed as a secondary attraction to conventional golf around the globe. Golf clubs are known for their rules and regulations, so the idea of taking a football onto the course for a kickabout at first seems unthinkable. But that's exactly what appears to be happening today. Played with a standard-sized football that is kicked towards an oversized hole in a flag pin, foot golf has even been given the PGA seal of approval. We, we have an etiquette, we have a rules, we try to... to um, to get the, the foot golfers a little bit quiet, but they are uh, the most the most player uh, very passionate about football, so it's, it's a, a little bit. The event seemed to be a hit with the Atalaya Golf and Country Club in Andalusia, where this year's tournament was held. We just open it because we think that this will give a very positive uh, image also that we that the golf courses are open, not only for golfers but also for football players. And uh, this is a very positive thing and we think that uh, we will uh, get more uh, football players or other kind of players playing this uh, foot golf and getting into golf. And we want to have more golf players all around Europe. With more than 70 golf courses on the Costa del Sol in Spain, Foot golfers are now being welcomed with open arms to simply help cover the weekly cost of a clubhouse. So it may not be too long before we see a Masters event, but should we give the winners a green jacket or a golden boot? I guess that's something yet to be decided in this young but growing sport. Savi, what's wrong with golf? Because they that's had to the come thing. out with speed golf first, then that's they the had thing. to come out with foot golf. It's there's almost actually, as if the game of golf isn't complete. There's wrong with golf at all. Now, I love golf. <laughs> I don't agree with that story at all. You know why? Why? Because you have professional golfers all around the world been training for years to be masters at their discipline, right? Do you think Tiger Woods and is watching you, and, right you, and then you have sporting organisations in golf who spend days, months, trying to master how to make the clubs hit the ball as, as far as possible. <laughs> And then you've got this sport come up, make the holes bigger. But in this sport, you're looking at the What's football route, and if it's all, you know, the shape's all right and everything. I don't think it works. I don't think it works. <laughs> but there seems to be a lot of people out there enjoying it. Including none other than Lawrence Hill, the yeah, African played drummer who yeah, played, played football. football. You played football was in that good Orpington. Fun? Yeah, in Orpington, just down the road, yeah. Um, about two months ago, it was a stag do. It's very popular for stag do's, apparently. Cool. And it, it was good fun, right? <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It's, it can be quite frustrating, like trying to scale it in the hole. The hole's big, but it, if you miss it, it just goes miles past. Okay, but well, real golf is so much maybe better. Maybe you can right? take yeah, Sagar along. Thank and you. See, agrees. <laughs> 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 okay, before we go for our next break, you guys promised us another rendition. Oh, this time, you've got a, a new team member here. Mm. Hello. So let, let's, see how, <laughs> let's see how Limbs fuses with you guys. I'll leave it to you guys. Go just on, improvise. Just go for it. Okay. 